Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So I just wanted to get on here uh, real quick just to, um, I want to speak to the, to the youth right now. Um, just me, you know, growing up and, you know, thinking that I just knew everything and, uh, that I just had it all figured out. I had my, I had every step of the way figured out. Um, I thought I knew more than maybe the next person may know, but in all actuality, <clears throat> we don't know it all. Um, and it's okay not to know it all because you got to think about it. It was people that came before us. It, it's, um, if you look at it like our, our elders, um, the older, our older, um, you know, gener the older generations that has gone before us and has experienced the things that we are experiencing right now and that we may be going through now at this moment. And as I was just sitting and I was just riding, I was just thinking because I was just, I got a little emotional because I saw my, I saw where I was years, maybe a year ago and prior to that, how I was my own worst enemy. I could not receive help in the sense of nobody could tell me nothing because I thought I knew it all. And, and I was actually, uh, it was actually detrimental to myself. Um, you know, some of the things that we're going through is because we are our own worst enemy. And sometimes you just need to, you know, just just take us just take a step back at what you think that is just going so wrong in your life that you feel like that's just attacking your life. And you know, that's trying to hurt you instead of helping you. You know, the enemy will have us really just thinking that, you know, because people so often use that scripture, your enemies of your household, um, the people of your household are your enemies, um, if I'm paraphrasing that correctly. But I've noticed that that statement is true as well, but it didn't say everyone in your household. So the enemy will have you thinking that, it is actually your your mother and your father, but um, it could be it could be one of your parents. But sometimes, if you look at it in the sense of, let me just put it into this perspective. If you look at it in the sense of, say, um, I remember growing up, like when I was you know dating, and say a friend would tell me, right, hey, your boyfriend is cheating on you, or your your boyfriend you know likes me. I would get mad at her instead of the boyfriend. You, you get what I'm saying? So that's what the enemy will try to do. He will try to make you think it's someone else. Make you It will make you target the one that's trying to help you. That's what the enemy wants you to do. The enemy, sometimes you can look at the people that's trying to help, it, help us. We kind of look at them as our enemies. And that, that's in the same perspective. Like you have a boyfriend and, and your friend tell you, oh, your boyfriend's cheating. Now you're mad at her because she told you your boyfriend's cheating. Now you're looking at her like she's your enemy. Like she the, is the one cheating on you. Or maybe you're just thinking that she just wants what you have. But see, that's what the enemy likes to play those tri um, types and tricks and games to make you feel as though, hey, in all actuality, Sorry about that. I'm driving. In all actuality, um, it's, you know, it's the one that, I'm sorry, it's the one that's actually trying to help you. And I had to realize that very fast that I was my, I was my own enemy. I was resisting the help of, of those who were really trying to help me. And, I, and it, I'm glad I figured that out now at this age that if you find yourself blaming everyone. Okay, glory be to God. Um, I'm back. I'm sorry. My phone died. <laughs> 
But like I was saying, I just didn't want to just leave you guys blank. But like I was saying, um, nine times out of 10, you know, more of the story, it could be you that is your worst enemy. And as I was just pondering some more, sometimes it can be because we don't love ourselves enough and respect ourselves enough. Um, I didn't want to speak about that, but I'll get back. I'll go into that um, maybe on another video, but I just wanted to come on and just close it out just to let you know, like, yeah, sometimes it's we are our own worst enemy. And it can stem from, you know, many different reasons. Um, not having that self-love and loving ourselves enough um, to want to fix ourselves and change. We need to start searching our hearts and doing a heart check. Because um, that's something you can work on in, in your personal times. And better finding better ways to love yourself, you know seek God, you know, for, for God, he is love. God loves us dearly. He loves us more than we even loves, love ourselves at times. And that's an unconditional, unreplaceable, unreachable, untouchable love that we cannot ever experience from any physical person here on earth, unless it's a person that God has fully molded and created just for you. Um, cause I am a believer. There is someone for everyone out there, but I just want to, you know, just to get back on here and preach on that, but I don't want to get too off topic, but sometimes we need to look at ourselves and, um, start to realize that it is us that is our own worst enemy. But until next time, um, like I said, we're going to touch further more on a little, get into a little bit of self-love and how God plays a intricate part in us loving on him and him loving on us, which will show us how to truly and love ourselves. But that'll be a different video. So if you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe and pass it on to someone else. Um, who you feel may also need to hear this word as well. Until next time, stay blessed. And let's go ahead and end this with a prayer. Heavenly Father, I thank you for bringing us here together again before each other, Lord God. I thank you for those who you have touched and who you have reached. Father God, I pray that you protect and cover them with your precious blood. Father God, I pray that you continue to guide them and lead them in the way that they should go, Father God. Even though sometimes the path may not, we may not understand what you're doing or what we're supposed to be doing, Father God. But I pray that you touch in every one of their hearts and let them know and understand that all they need to do is just trust you. When they don't need to do, they just, just need to trust you because you are working, you are moving in their situation and in their life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.